Hello again, welcome to another episode of YouTube Deep Dive by yours truly, Practical Rocky. Ngayon, titingin tayo ng mga rabbit hole links dito sa YouTube sa YouTube at i-review natin isa-isa. Ngayon, may nakita akong isang link sabi, bisitahin ko and must know sino si Chuck Tingle. So, here goes. Okay. Isa sa link na binigay sa akin. The Literary, Ge Literary Genius of Chuck Tingle. Ngayon, tignan natin kung ano tong clip video na to. Libro daw siya eh. And, ayan. Tingnan. Oh, dinosaurs to you. Negro. Puta. Political satire. Okay. His writing never fails to elicit a sharp tingle down the spine. What the hell is this? Oh, anyone come from Jerko's video? Sanako? Chuck Ting. Actually, siya isa. This man puts manga, Japanese manga writers to shame with his titles. Okay. So anyway, tingnan natin. But again... <clears throat> Is an actual book. Pula tao ka ako. Kalaos si Spider Man. Okay. That I paid money for. And it so, literal na libro siya. Okay. Ever seen. They say not to judge a book by its cover. Gyo si ako po ito. Pula tao sa ata. Riding a horse. Di ko siya sinadjudge eh. Pero talagang inano mo talaga yung unicorn. Napansin ko na eh. <laughs> At may napansin pa akong dinosaur do sa likod eh. Pero bakit gano'n? Ba projection lang ng cover. Anyway, tignan natin. What would you do if you could never pound another butt? How far would you go? Far away from home. As far as it takes. This Homecoming. is just one piece of literature written by the visionary <laughs> author Chuck Tingle. So ito si Chuck Tingle. Isa so, siyang author nung mga ganyan. At siya ay nakakaratigi. While he has only written two mm -hmm. full-length novels, he has written dozens upon Putang dozens of short erotic stories. Kakukulo. The handsome pretendo swap joysticks and portable screens slam my butt while also allowing me to control my game. Holy fuck. S? Controller ba na SNES yun? Oo nga, no? Controller nga siya na SNES. Slam my butt while also allowing me to control my game. Slammed up the butt by my hot coffee boss. Buta kahit may... Kahit yung baso may mo. Inside my own butt for eight years, starting a business and turning a profit through common sense, reinvestment, and strategic targeted marketing. The state of California stocks my gay butthole. So basically... Ba't ganun yung mga... O nga no, lala nga nung mga title gag. Ganun. The state of California is thirsty. So, mga Californian dyan. Totoo. Thirsty AF. Yan ito, di pa marunong minum ng tubig eh. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay. Two-time Hugo Award finalist, Dr. Chuck Tingle. Ah, doktor siya. Isang erotic author in Taekwondo Grand Puta. Kaya pala siya nakakaratig eh. Almost black belt from... Billings, Montana, after receiving his PhD at two-time Hugo Award finalist Dr. Chuck Tingle is an erotic author and Taekwondo Grandmaster from Billings, Montana. After receiving his PhD at DeVry University, DeVry, palabasa don. Di mo mabasa. Chuck was fascinated by all things sensual, leading to his creation of the Tingler, a story so blissfully erotic that it cannot be experienced without eliciting a sharp tingle down the spine. Anong tingle meron mga to, puti? And I know, 
That's a lot to take in. Okay. Well, Chuck Tingle get used to that pretty fast. And yeah, he was actually nominated for Hugo Awards multiple times, which is a pretty prestigious award for literature. Like, Wang okay naman siyang author, baka nga doon sa title yeah. lang. Oh my god, he wrote about it. Slammed in the butt by my Hugo Award now. <laughs> Bakit ga? May mga mukha yung mga object o type. Kanina, Nintendo, tas ngayon, baso, tas ngayon, rocket. Nation. Pounded in the butt by my second Hugo Award nomination. May part two. And pounded in the butt by my Hugo Award loss. <laughs> Ang creepy pa nung rocket to. <laughs> Are you starting to get the impression that just maybe, perhaps, Chuck Tingle has a thing for butts? Mukha. Eh kasi yung literature niya about feeling ko about sa same sex yung plot. sa mga lalaki sa lalaki. Siguro, by si Chuck Tingle o gay. Pero, tayo na ba't ganun? <laughs> Tinglers generally come in four varieties. Dinosaur, no! object, Bigfoot, and Unicorn. So, hindi lang siya cover. Dinosaur Tinglers include such classics as Gay T-Rex Lawfare dinosaur pala yun, dude. My billionaire Triceratops craves gay ass. Buti pa yung Triceratops. Napansin ko, buti pa yung Triceratops billionaire yun, no? <laughs> Tayo na, may sombrero pa siyang ganun, eh. <laughs> ano yung isusuwag niya sa'yo dyan, yung tatlong sungay? <laughs> My personal favorite. Space Raptor Bud Vision. No. Space Raptor Butt Redemption. Space Raptor Butt Redemption. Name a more iconic trilogy. Oh wait. Object Tinglers can be pretty much anything. Lord of the Rings, Chicago. It can be hot coffee, the Nintendo Switch, or literally the entire state of California. So yun talaga. Meron talaga siya. Vampire Night Bus pounds my butt. <laughs> Teka lang. Buti pa yung jet merong ano no? 8 packs. Living billionaire jet. Santala ko. Chan lang. Slammed by my hands. Kahit fidget spinner ko lang patawad dud. Sometimes it doesn't really need to be an object as much as a Hindi ko ma-post dun sa pinaka... Turned gay by the existential dread that I may actually be a character in a Chuck Tingle book. Ayan, dyan muna kay Kong. Although, siya daw si Bigfoot. Ano ba to? Oh? Yung cover niya, base sa sinasabi niya, sabi niya kasi may thing siya about sa bat, syempre. Gay. Sa object, tas sa unicorn, tas ito, Bigfoot. <sighs> Ang nga natin. Ah, may babae. Pero tag ina, bakit ganun din yung mga babae? May babae naman pala. Kasi yung babae, T-Rex din. Pote. Ganun. Buti pa, eto. Ayun o, cartoon so. Eto bagay ito eh. Kasi yung mga... <laughs> Mamaya i-explain ko, pero not anything, not founded by anything. May volume 2 pa siya. So, sinusundan talaga ng tao at siya ay 4 and a half star, 22 ratings. Mukha nga masaya siya basahin sa mga LGBT. At uh, eto, world love. One thing is clear, love is real, but for many buckaroos, their preferred kind of love has nothing to do with sex. Okay. Ayan kasi, Six Platonic Tales of Non-Sexual Encounter. Ito na pala, the pinasa ko. Kindle Edition. Not founded in the butt by anything, and that's okay. Ken starts a very important presentation at work. He has no idea. How much this small mistake will change the rest of his life. Soon enough, handsome man with the several platonic encounters with a unicorn butt cup. 
his big foot boss and a shirtless dinosaur library. <laughs> Shit. No way. Eventually, Ken finds himself a dinner date with a muscular dinosaur feasting on a home cooked meal as the two enjoy each other's presence. But is their connection simply friendship or something romantic? But once you're not sexual. So, ito may patawad pa to. Unlike sa ibang book. Siguro na malala na, oy, nice guy dinosaur doesn't pound me in the butt because I'm not interested and he's not actually nice. He's just annoying and creepy and doesn't respect my boundaries when I tell him we're not on the date. Nung dinosaur! Alright? Totoo lang, nagbabasa ako ng libro. At merong iba, ini-enjoy ko talaga. Pero mapili ako. Kasi, trabaho kasi ng libro kasi, once na binasa mo, i-imaginein mo, ba diba, kung ano ba yung nangyari, ganun. Kaya nga sometimes, pag sinasabi nila, we prefer books than a movie itself. Kasi yung imagination natin, iba dun sa nire-represent dun sa movie. Unless na lang maganda yung pagkaka-adapt sa... movie na pinroduce nung mga producers at dinirect nung mga magagaling na directors which is na kahit yung mga book readers na appreciate nila so ngayon kung ako yung magbabasa sabihin natin nga nito may oy ito mga lesbo may macaroni and cheese is a lesbian Nanonood ako nun yung mga babae sa babae. Pero iisipin mo yung mac and cheese pa si isa babae. Paano? Paano ko gagawin sa utak yun? <laughs> Aminin natin, di tayo magmamalinis. Sabi natin, eto sa mga straight, mga dudes tayo, mga lalaki. Nanonood tayo ng lesbian. Yung isa mac and cheese, may ganito mo. May ganito yung isang partner niyang babae. How? Yung mga Japanese diyan na mayroong kakaibang fetish. Paano niyo i-adapt sa inyong manga ka dojinshian? Ako iniisip ko paano eh. Balik tayo kay ano, kay Tom Holland. Bigfoot tinglers are Exactly what you'd expect. Ito yung unggoy. Bigfoot pirates <laughs> haunt my balls. <laughs> tsaka yung pagkakapoto siya, parang iisa lang itsura nung T-Rex, tsaka nung unggoy. So, Taki na, sino yung designer nito, putek? Maganda yung layout ng font. Para ako na rin na <laughs> emphasize tong butthole, yung big... Bigfoot settlers claim my balls. Okay, back row. Uh, The Curse of Bigfoot Batcamp. Curse of Bigfoot. Ayun, nag-iba rin yung itsura ng Bigfoot. Pero sa ibang cover ata, ito rin yung ulo na ginagamit. Oh. See, I don't know what I've been doing with my summers my entire life, but I've been wasting them not going to butt camp. Let's not... Ayun. Yun, ang inihintay kong pwede ko i-post. Putik. <sighs> Ang hirap i-post na nakikita mo yung title at the same time nagpapaliwanag ako. Anyway. So, meron siya kakaibang fetish pala sa mga object. Tulad nun sa dinosaur, sa mga bigfoot, unicorn. Tayo na. Iniisa-isa na niya eh. Parang, ayoko ni. Ex ko na nga ito. Tangan niyo, mac and cheese na babae. Okay, hindi ako makakatulog dito. Bago siya plot yung isa, milyonaryong T-Rex, shirtless librarian. Ay, hindi. Pilyonaryong Triceratops, tapos shirtless librarian T-Rex. Pucha, tapos yung isa unicorn na nakasakay sa kabayo. Yung unicorn. So, iniisip ko, ba, how? No? <laughs> 
<laughs> Nagugulat ako sa title. Parang nasa ibang layer ako na rabbit hole ngayon, protect. Hindi siya naka ano no, hindi siya naka-restrict oh kasi hindi ako naka-login no. So talagang pinapa ano nila at titingnan natin sa sa ko oh, holy shit, tinanong din sa earlier na but that a subscribe sub. Oh. Uh-huh. Is this a real life? Just we boss up if you have praise me in internal no. May iba siguro pinagtitripan top horn ni Celeste Gaida. Still less gay than top gun ang puta. This guy looks fake. Konti yung comment. Siguro na ano. Pero feeling ko kasi yung mga uulanin to eh. Ng comment. Totoo. Ng... Siguro nasa sala nito. Kasi meron iba kasi. Yung mga ganyan kasi. Understood. Oo. Pag titripan ka talaga. ng mga tao sa internet so yun natin ganun pero mukha naman eh kasi mukhang may i- iba siyang konsepto si Chuck Tingle do sa libro niya at uh, some people na na-appreciate niya pero kung tatanungin mo sa akin ha kung ako ha <laughs> hey. although may lesbian version siya pero Ganon? Yung isa dinosaur din na babae? No! Buti wala yung Gundam na unicorn, no? No! Audiobook! Imagine your f- you just fill it with tingle. Screamed in the butt by living corn. Okay. And see, this is what I'm talking about by the sentient. <laughs> Tainan ng climate change. <laughs> Puno eh, gago. Ano, grut sagot. <laughs> Fake news, real boners. That's a good title, actually. <laughs> Using a human restroom. What the fucking shit? Found it with uh, her. At o oh nga, mukha nga siya na praise ni J.K. Rowling. Sa bagay, mukha ko kay I don't know. So, co-author siguro, nabasa niya. Isa lang iniisip ko, kung meron net, meron kaya neto sa atin. Kasi kung meron sa book sale neto, mapapansin na ng tao to eh. Diba? O kaya kung sa National Bookstore to, siguro exclusive do sa mga nakapadlock. Do sa... Kulit to. <laughs> May market ni Tom Holland talaga eh. <laughs> balik na tayo anyway. Do siya sa mga balik tayo. Sa nakapadlock na exclusive books do sa National Bookstore. Baka nando dun. Tatanong natin. Ta- try nyo itanong lang. Tapos comment nyo kung meron kayo. Ah, uh, ate, ano po 'yon? Meron kayo libro ni ano? Chuck Ting. Anong title? Go sa inyo. Sample la kayo. <laughs> anyway, dito muna at ako ay Actually, umaga ngayon gusto ko matulog eh, pero ngayon di matutulog ba ako? Well, hanggang dito muna. At Kita kits. At ako ay medyo bibili na muna uli ng sigarilyo uli sa tindahan. At mag-iisip ng malalim ng mga nangyayari sa buhay. Kung itutuloy ko pa pa itong pag-YouTube ko. At sisilipin ko yung yose ko kung may muka. O ito lighter ko bago ko sindihan. Baka hindi ko alam nakakasakit na pala ako. <laughs> Para na idam po ta. Sige, kita kits.